and welcome to my Animal Crossing video. Last time, I started the process of flattening my island. It took a lot of learning and it took a long time, but I managed to get a decent amount done by the end of last video. Good news, this will be the last time I flatten my island in any video. So you won't need to see this ever again. With that said, let's get on with the video. That's right folks, you heard Isabel. Tonight is a night where I wish on shooting stars. There wasn't many shooting stars, but my island is called Stardust after all, so I had to wish on them. After writing my message on the board, I found out that Label was visiting my island tonight. Turns out she was looking for inspiration and this time the theme was work outfit. Lucky for me, I was already wearing my work outfit. She gave me a staff uniform to be inspired but fortunately for me I didn't need that. I was already wearing my work outfit which was a lot more effective than the one that she gave me. She gave me her exclusive design skirt and tailor tickets for the Able Sisters. I can't wait to use them. I started my morning by reading the mail, then afterwards decided to change into my kimono. As this is my first time playing in spring, this is the first time I get to see the cherry blossom season. I'm really excited to see it. And when I run around in my island, I see pink cherry trees. They look so pretty. I completely forgot that I was wishing on shooting stars last night because as I was running around and I walked towards the beaches, I found the star fragments on the water. And then that reminded me, so I just picked them all up and store them away. Then I headed to the airport where I decided to fly over to Harv's Island. When I arrived at Harv's Island, first I decided to explore the shops. At first I just wanted to browse around and see what was available, but I did come here for a particular reason. 
first reason is that I wanted to visit Leaf. I collected weeds on my island when I was walking around to see the cherry blossoms, so I sold it to Leaf. I get more money anyways. Then I got to visit Katrina. What good luck! It was really good idea to get my fortune read. Now I can really use my tools to flatten my island without it breaking all the time. When I came back to my island, I changed into my work outfit and started working on flattening my island once again. On Sunday, the 2nd of April, I met a bunny, a bunny that comes around this time of year, and his name was Zipper. It was interesting to meet Zipper, because now I know why everyone says he's really creepy. I mean, there's no attachment I can, and stuff, but you know, I can see where people find him creepy, and I can see the creepy factor of, of it. After Zipper told me about Bunny Day, I just continued to flatten the island again. So here's what I did. I finally did it. I finally flattened the back part of my island. As you can see, I was running around in joys of relief. I was so happy that I had so much space to run in and that hours and hours and hours of trying to flatten my island came to fruition. I started to flatten the smaller cliff, you know, to finish flattening my island. I didn't actually do much this day and I don't remember why, but here's a little footage that I do have.
No matter how long it would take me, I was so set on making sure this cliff was flattened today. With that said, I managed to flatten my island. I would be saying this if I didn't get rid of my rivers. It took a while, but I managed to get rid of the river all in the same night. Now, I can finally say that I've flattened my island. Thanks for watching the video. It does take a lot of time to edit these together. Um, you know, and it's really hard for me to describe what I want to talk about during these um clips which is why i try to make scripts and obviously i sound really like robotically scripted um <laughs> but i would appreciate it if you guys could give like a like on the video and like give me your comments down below of what you feel of these videos so far Join me next time where I'll be working behind Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters to create a little cafe and possibly a resting park area.